Hi, in this video I will show you how to hack the restrictions passcode of any Apple device. This works for all current versions of iOS, and the encryption and password storage has not been updated since iOS 7. First we'll head over to the iBackupBot website at icopybot.com slash itunesbackupmanager.htm and download the version for Windows. Set up iBackupBot with all the default file paths and drivers. I chose to keep it that way but you can change anything you like. Launch the application once it's finished installing. Under Devices, select your device and hit Backup Now. When it prompts you to select the backup location, you can keep it as the default or select your own location. I will put it under my desktop directory, however it doesn't really matter. If you haven't already figured, I assume by now your phone is plugged in your laptop, it's turned on and allowed access. Now just wait for the backup process to finish. When prompted, load the backup into iBackupBot. Under Backup, select your device and navigate the System Files, Home Domain, Library, Preferences. In the search box in the top right corner, enter Restrictions. Select com.apple.restrictionspasscode.plist. Hit Cancel on the Registry prompt. The XML code should launch up that has the restrictions passcode information. The two key pieces of information we'll be using is the password key and salt, which are located underneath the data tags below their respective names. Next we'll launch up our web browser and head over to ios7.hash.darison.us. Despite the name, it works with all versions of iOS, as noted by the creators on the website. Next, simply grab the key and salt from the code and paste them in their respective boxes on the website. After that, duplicate your tab multiple times to speed up the search process and change the start and stop range on each. Just for the demonstration of this video, I will only go up to 3000 as the maximum range because I already know the range of my own passcode. Once you have entered the ranges, hit start searching on all the tabs and wait for it to complete. The process of brute forcing generally takes a long time, but given that we are cracking a numeric passcode with only 10,000 possible outcomes, the solution is pretty doable. A much better idea for what we are trying to accomplish is using code that's hosted on your actual machine, like Python or Perl, but for most people, accessing this online cracker is much easier and requires no experience in programming. I will link below some of the other crackers that I have found that work with the key and salt method, and maybe in future videos I'll cover how to use those. Once the brute force is complete, you'll get a pop-up like this giving you the password. Now I'll try plugging it in on my iPhone. As you can see, the password crack is a success and my password has been recovered. All links from this video are listed below and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.